The Montgomery County Department of Police is committed to the fitness of our new and current officers. As part of this commitment, we have implemented the Physical Fitness Assessment Test, or PFAT, into the hiring process. The PFAT will be completed by applicants who have successfully passed the oral interview. These assessments measure explosive power, muscular endurance, anaerobic power, and cardio-respiratory fitness. The purpose of this video is to provide potential applicants with insight into the physical assessments and provide basic information into how these assessments will be administered and the correct techniques on how to properly complete each physical assessment. These assessments are the grip strength measurement, the one minute timed push-up test, the three minute timed sit-up test, and a 1.5 mile run. The grip strength test. This test will measure the pressure exerted by the hands and forearms. The test will show that the applicant can exert a minimum of half of their body weight or 80 pounds of pressure, whichever is lower. You will be using a hand digital dynamometer in both the left and right hands. Prior to beginning the test, you will stand facing the instructor. The dynamometer will be zeroed by the instructor and handed to you. You must remain standing during the test. You may move your arm during the test. You will squeeze the grip end of the dynamometer using one hand at a time. The dynamometer reads the highest pressure exerted by your grip. The instructor will record your reading zero the device, and return it to you to measure the opposite side. You will be given three attempts with each side to reach the measure of 80 pounds of pressure or half of your body weight. The one minute push-up test. The one minute push-up test measures muscular endurance of the upper body. The test will count the number of correct push-ups completed in one minute. The position for the push-up test is as follows. Prior to beginning the test, you will lie on the ground, face down, feet together, and hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart, with your fingers pointing forward. The body will form a straight line from the ankles through the hips, knees, back, and shoulders to the head. To start the test, you will be in the up position where the body forms a straight line from the head to the ankles. With the head in the neutral position, arms at soft extension, and legs and feet together. A test administrator will place a four inch foam roller under your chest in the middle of the sternum. This will verify that the down position has been obtained. During the test, if it is necessary to rest, you may only rest in the up position while maintaining the body in the straight line. Arms should be at soft extension and feet together. A correct push-up will be counted each time the body is lowered from the up position to the down position where the chest touches the foam roller and then returns to the up position. If at any time the form described above is broken, by raising the buttocks, sagging the midsection, lifting a hand or foot, or not going all the way up or down, or any other item outside the form described, the incorrect push-up will not be counted. The one minute push-up test has a minimum of 17 correct push-ups to pass this assessment. The three minute sit up test. The three minute sit up test measures muscular endurance of the abdominal region. The test will count the correct number of sit ups completed in a three minute duration. The position for the sit up test is as follows. 
You will be lying on the ground with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor, and hands interlaced behind your head. The neck should remain in a neutral position without pulling or yanking on the head. A partner will hold your feet down firmly. The up position is met when the elbows touch the knees or go past the knees. The down position is obtained when the shoulder blades touch the floor. During the test, if it is necessary to rest, you may only rest in the up position while maintaining the hands behind the head. A correct sit-up will be counted each time the up position is met while maintaining proper form. If at any time the form described above is broken by raising the buttocks, unlocking the hands, not going all the way up or down, or any other item outside the form described, the incorrect push-up will not be counted. The test will be terminated if the applicant reaches the down position and is unable to sit back up into the up position. The three minute sit up test requires a minimum of 34 correct sit ups to pass this assessment. The 1.5 mile run. The 1.5 mile run provides an estimate of the cardio respiratory fitness level of the applicant. The test will measure the time required to run 1.5 miles on a non-level asphalt surface with varying elevations. During the test, pacing devices, external assistance, or devices that impair individuals from hearing will be prohibited. You will be required to complete the 1.5 mile run in 16 minutes or less to pass this assessment. All of these assessments must be passed before the applicant may move forward to the background phase of the hiring process. If you have any questions regarding the physical fitness assessment test, please contact a recruiter by visiting www.joinmcp.com or by calling 240-773-5319.